Hello everybody, we're going to start in just a few more seconds. Good evening and a very happy Ambedkar Jayanti to everybody. Today, to commemorate Dr. Ambedkar's 132nd birthday, the Supreme Court has declared a holiday to remember him and his contributions to the Constitution of India and the democratic fabric of India uh, till date. So this week's live, we will uh, essentially recap some of the most significant developments that took place at the Supreme Court. Firstly, to start off with, uh, constitution bench proceedings. A constitution bench led by D, uh, Chief Justice D. Y. Chandrachud completed, uh, concluded hearing the petition seeking clarity on the applicability of group of companies doctrine in arbitration cases. And the bench has reserved judgment. Uh, essentially, this doctrine um, states that non -sign signatories to an arbitration agreement can be part can be made part of the agreement if they belong to the same group of companies. Some of the main arguments in this case this week were uh, uh, senior advocate Kambata who stated that the doctrine can be applicable in India but must be governed by the contours of the Indian Contract Act. Uh, and we have to uh, await and see what the judgment of the bench will be. Secondly, a five-judge constitution bench led by Justice K.M. Joseph also very briefly heard the parties in the challenge to WhatsApp's privacy policy in India. Uh, essentially, uh, Attorney General R. Venkat Ramani represented the government and said that the Digital Data Protection Bill of 2022 was completed and would be introduced in Parliament in the monsoon session starting in July. And this bill would solve all the privacy concerns raised by the petitioners in the present case. Senior advocate Sham Devan, who appeared for the petitioners, remained unconvinced. He drew the bench's attention to how the union has made similar claims about the data protection bill since 2018, but nothing has materialized since then. However, taking into account the assurance given by the Attorney General uh, and the practicality of the matter, the bench has stated that uh, this bill will be, uh, this uh, petition will be heard by the court again uh, sometime in August. Between this time, uh, two of the judges on this bench, Justice uh, uh, Kim Joseph and Justice Rastogi, will be retiring in June. So a new bench will be uh, will have to be formed if necessary. So the bench is directed that this uh, case be placed before the Chief Justice sometime in August, so that he can do uh, the necessary uh, uh, he can create the necessary uh, uh, bench if uh, uh, needed. Then. Coming to other significant cases that were heard by the Supreme Court this week, a bench led by uh, Justice Call heard uh, an update on a plea alleging fake encounters in the state of Gujarat between 2002 and 2007. This case will be heard again in July after the court's summer vacation. Next, uh, uh, former BJP spokesperson and lawyer uh, Ashwini, Ashwini Kumar Upadhyay also filed a plea seeking a minority status uh, be granted on a state level rather than a national level. He stated that in certain states, for example, like in the state of Nagaland, Hindus comprise the minority uh, religion and uh, whereas in most of uh, uh, most other states in the country, Hindus were the majority religion. Therefore, he said that minority status must be granted uh, by the uh, must be granted on a state-wise division rather than a national division. This case is again uh, this case also is said to be heard again in uh, July, and uh, states have been asked by the Supreme Court to file their uh, responses or their opinions on the matter before that. Uh, another significant case that the Supreme Court heard this week uh, relates to the uh, uh, SESC status for converted Dalits. Uh, the petitioners claim that even after conversions, uh, uh, persons are uh, entitled to the status of SEST and they relied on a report by Justice Ranganath uh, uh, in, from 2007 which stated that converted Dalit persons were entitled to the status of SEST because uh, 
they needed it for uh, uh, social and economic empowerment however the union has uh, refused to accept the findings of uh, the ranganath commission report from 2007 and last year in 2022 the union has formed a new commission uh, led by justice uh, former justice kv kg bal uh, krishna to uh, provide further findings on the matter so an interesting question in this case is what is the validity of a commission's report when the union government refuses to accept its finding after it's uh, uh, released so this is an uh, interesting question of law that arises in this case and this case will also be heard by the supreme court again after the summer vacation uh, in july uh, la- uh, lastly there were two uh, th- there was another uh, case heard by the supreme court yesterday a bench comprising justice k m joseph and uh, justice b v nagaratna heard a challenge to the karnataka government's uh, order passed last month where it quashed the 4% uh, obc reservation that it had granted to muslims the government order instead reallocated this 4% to the lingayat and vokalinga communities 2% 2% to each Uh, the petitioners uh, who were represented by senior advocate dushyan dave and advocates kapil sibal gopal shankar narayan and amongst others argued uh, that this was a political move undertaken by the karnataka government on the eve of the karnataka elections coming up next month and the basis of this government uh, order were completely uh, uh, shaky and there was no solid empirical data to support such a change in reservation policy and therefore this is unconstitutional the union government uh, was uh, the karnataka government i'm sorry was represented by solicitor general tushar mehta he sought time to file responses in the matter but uh, he also stated that uh, uh, religion based uh, rec- uh, reservation is not accepted however uh, he uh, pleaded that he would file uh, the counters on behalf of the state of karnataka in 3 days and he assured the bench that between this time no appointment or ab- admission would take place in the state of karnataka on the basis of the government order in question so after taking note of the assurance given by uh, the solicitor the bench directed that the counter affidavits must be filed by the 17th of this month and the case will be heard first thing on 18th uh, of this month that is the coming tuesday by uh, the bench comprising justices k m joseph and b v nagaratna so these were the major updates from the supreme court this past week stay tuned to our social media pages and our website for more updates on all our tracked cases and other uh, events happening in the supreme court we will see you again next week with another live thank you